we were clean with our operation, top to bottom. I was proud of how the guys went out there and played. And it was awesome to see some guys step up and uh, make some plays. But just really happy with how it went and obviously getting the dub. 3-0 in the preseason, we know it doesn't you know, mean anything necessarily, but it means something to us. It feels good. How big was it for you to be able to connect with Tyler in that deep outbreak or really, you know, in that other pass? The timing of that, how big was that? I was good. Felt comfortable back there. You know, everything was happening in rhythm and in time. Uh, Tyler did a good job separating, and Calvin, the same thing too. Uh, felt like we were on the same page. It was a good feeling. Coach, this time, still, still now into the regular season, knowing that this locker room is going to lose probably about 37 guys here in the next it's, it's, That's crazy. I mean, it's the business of the game, and you know, it's, it's been constantly letting people know, like, as the days have wound down, like, this is, this is our last final moment kind of together as a full group, all of us. And then they're going to have to make those tough decisions on Tuesday. And, you know, we're, we're wishing everyone the best. We obviously can't keep everyone, but, uh, you know, we got a bunch of dogs in here from top to bottom. And I know if they don't work out with us, they're going to find somewhere else to, to make an opportunity. I know Coach has talked a lot about completion percentage. I think you finished 11 of 13 in this preseason. you got to be pretty excited about where that number is at. Uh, yeah, I just felt like completions were out there, and I was taking them. Um, feel really good about where I'm at and just got to take the easy ones when they're there. And like I keep saying, not, not getting bored, taking the boring uh, completions. So I feel like we did a good job as an offense, not passing things up and uh, just getting the ball in play. Did anything change for you today about how you feel this team about yourself? Like, did today change anything? Uh, I mean, it's just you know, improved the confidence that we already had. I think coming out of here with the win uh, just makes us all feel great. And seeing guys step up and make plays and getting guys the ball that really hadn't been able to get the ball uh, in those situations yet, in games at least. So it was good to kind of get those pieces of the offense out there, uh, give people some content to, to study for our offense. And we just, like I said, so proud of how the guys came out and, and worked from top to bottom. Did you get a chance to say anything to Thomas just about his effort play at the end of the first half? Oh, my gosh. I was, I was freaking out with him, running down the sideline into the locker room. It was incredible. Yeah. All I saw was Nick. Running and I was like, no way, Nick's catching him. And I kind of looked away. I didn't even realize Thomas yeah. chugging down. I was, I was telling him, it reminded me of the, the Ben Watson play against Denver years back. Uh, just, just that is heart, uh, you know, in in one play. And then and that's a guy who comes to work every day and the you know, relentless effort. And that's when it pays off. It just take it day by day. I mean. I give every play 100%, you know what I mean? And when I go out there and have the opportunity to showcase my skills, I just play the best I can be for my teammates. How excited are you about what's next? Um, I'm up. very excited. Uh, just getting ready to prepare for the uh, first uh, away game in Chicago. Can't wait. It's going to be another opportunity to play football. Fun to watch at the end how it unfolded, winning this game late and, and what you guys did in the preseason. So that again. How, how cool is the way you guys finished this game uh, and finished the preseason? It was great. I mean, like I say, we all take it day by day, and we prepare for those type of moments. Just finish, 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 and we're not. We went out there and finished. Now that you have your first camp behind you, what are some of you know the things, areas that where you feel you really took a step forward? You know, moving to the league. Um, my first camp, it went great. Uh, it actually went great just because I had those veterans in front of me. Like Day, Jeff, Cobra, I had all those guys to show me the way how a camp's supposed to be. So I, I just give all credit to those guys for uh, helping me and preparing me for the, uh, my first rookie camp. What about the mental aspect? Like everything you, you went through. Right. All, 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 my, been, all my mental stuff, mental stuff, man, I give a big shout out to my mom, man, because I call her every day. I talk to my mom every day. And, Every day not going to be great for nobody, you know what I mean? And just for me to get over those situations, I just call my mom, talk to her, and stuff like that. I think it's been awesome, uh, even just from the spring, just seeing him grow and uh, just absorb the offense, absorb the information that coach has been uh, getting across to all of us. And I think it's just been great to see him grow and uh, make plays. How would you feel like you've improved your third camp and under new coaching staff? I think I'm just trying to take it day by day and continue to just work hard and try to handle any mishaps and learn from it, and uh, just continue to try to grow each day. And you've been through this before. What's, what's your kind of mindset now as, as, as the organization kind of heads towards some, some tough decisions? Uh, it's out of my hands. I mean, more than anything, just controlling what I can control as far as all that goes and just try to do my best to put some good stuff on tape. Was today a confidence boost for you? Do you feel better after kind of pulling off that comeback or is it kind of steady for you? I think we just, you know, take it one play at a time and try to go out there and execute. Uh, it's three different quarterbacks playing, so you can't look at it like a true game. You just try to take what reps you get and do your best on them.
So how did you kind of handle it mentally going in for that last drive with two minutes left? Uh, just try to go out there and uh, we're already in field goal range, but we need four points. So I understand that we have four downs. Try not to make any stupid decisions. Try to keep some completions and just execute the plays that were called. What did it mean to you that they kept calling designed runs, kept the ball in your hand over and over again? Uh, didn't I just you know execute what plays called in? Uh, I don't try to overthink on it. And, uh, and if the opportunity is there. I try to do what I can to help the team. I mean, obviously we attended a long field goal there uh, prior to the play. Saw there was a returner back there, so after we kicked it, knew we had to go cover. I was on the left side, um, trying to set an edge, trying to contain my side of the field. We rolled to our right, um, started running, started running. Uh, felt the cut back. I felt like I didn't have the chance. I was close, but I knew I had to keep running, keep running. Uh, they slowed down, made the play at the three-yard line. Um, Awesome there to stop them, not give up a touchdown right before half, keep our momentum on our side. And, uh, yeah, no, it was uh, important for the game. You got swarmed by teammates. After yeah. What, what did the guys tell you about it? What did Coach Ray say to you? Man, they were excited. Um, coach, before the game, said one word that we have to all think about today is finish. Uh, and that play kind of just exemplified that. Uh, leaving it all out on the field, last preseason game. Uh, guys like me fighting for a roster spot, so I uh, wanted to leave it all out there. My teammates, obviously, in, this, in the moment knew how big that play was. You know, that's... We thought we were going to get three points with the field goal attempt, and then all of a sudden it looks like uh, they're about to get seven points. So that was a huge momentum swing. Uh, so luckily able to prevent that. And is that kind of what you wanted to be about since you've been here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. No, I, um, I wanted to show this team and all the other teams, you know, I, I care about this team so much, and I'm willing to leave it all out there. Effort, uh, finish as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, that's just what I'm about as a player. When did you get your win back after that? Man, it took, it took for a while. <laughs> Obviously, we celebrated, ran off the field, had to sit in here, and then the uh, coaches came. And then for a couple minutes, my, my, my adrenaline wore off a little bit, and my breathing got back to normal. So the NFL tweeted it out. It's yeah. viewed over a couple hundred thousand times. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you ready to be viral? Oh, nah. I mean, obviously, social media attention is nice, but uh, it's not all about that. Um, but, yeah, I, th I, I assume a lot of you know, high school, college, and NFL teams will have that that clip up as, a, as an example of, you know, what it means to finish and never give up on the play. So that's awesome, getting that attention. Definitely. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for this opportunity for sure. And, um, you know, it's the last one, so you got to – the coach emphasized this week, though, just to finish, you know what I'm saying, leaving it all out there. A lot of the older guys um, talked to me before the game, like Nick Westbrook, told me just to leave it all on the field, and that's what I did. We talked before about that connection with the league it showed today. What is it about? I mean, you know, I, like I iterated before to you, I told him, I tell them like all throughout the week, man, just like if I'm in there, I'm, I got you, man. I'm going to make the play. And um, I think uh, he's in, in, embodied that. You know, he, he trusts me in the show. That ability to show the late hands on that first touchdown, that's something that you work on? Like naturally, how do you get that point? No, that's actually something that I work on during the offseason. I haven't, you know, just – I mean, it's kind of like I play receiver, so it's not. It's kind of like natural, but it's something you have to. Work, I work on too throughout the offseason and stuff. Too. Yeah, I asked that because not all receivers like it's literally like the last second. Yep. You put your hands out there, not all yeah, it's definitely reaction for sure. Um, and if you, I, I think I remember like the DB actually had like his hand on the ball. I was just trying so hard like to not let it go. So. Um, it's just at the end of the day, it's football, man. It's just you just everybody got to lace them up just like me. Everybody put the same pants on one leg at a time, just like me. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you come from. You know, we got a guy like Mason Kinsey. The guy's been in the league five years from Barry College. You know, um, he he's he's a he's the blueprint guy I look at. You know, because you don't matter where you can go, uh, collegiate league, you can you can make this uh, NFL any NFL roster. What are the next 48 hours going to be like? You've never been through something like this before, have you? Nah, no, sir. But um, I try not to, you know, get my nerves worked up about it. You know, um, whatever happens, happens. It's not in my hands right now. But um, the only thing I could do is just put my best foot forward on the field, and I feel like I exemplified that on the field.